on? Not yet. Okay. Do I need to turn? Ah, there we are. Hello, hello. I think you can all hear me now. Yes? Any reaction? Can you hear me? Yes? Yeah. Okay, you can hear me. <laughs> I think you can hear me. All right, so uh, welcome to Privacy in Cosmos live in Amsterdam. It is very exciting to see you all in person. Um, this event is brought to you by the Zero Knowledge Validator. And the media partner on this is the Zero Knowledge Podcast, my other entity that I work with. Uh, yeah, and I, I mean, this is very exciting. We've done three online, this is our fourth, and this is the time that we get to see you in person. It's very, this is the first time I'm doing public speaking in two years, so it's also weird to see faces, but very good to see faces, so I'm happy to see you, all of you. So this, oh, uh, hello. Uh, so this um, event was originally supported by the Cosmos Hub. We made a proposal about a year ago, and this, for context, was just before the, the full launch of IBC. Um, and the idea was to get funding for four privacy uh, and zero knowledge focused events in the Cosmos ecosystem um, and to uh, run those three online and then this final one in person is kind of the finale of uh, the entire series. Um, and after each event, we've uh, summarized the reports online um, and you can, you can also find um, recordings available on the Zero Knowledge Podcast YouTube channel of all of this. And again, everything today will be uh, streamed to that channel. Yeah, and I think we're going to share that link on our, on our Twitter. So it's at ZK Validator if you want to check that out. So a little bit more about ZKV and what we do. Um, on the right, you can see uh, all of uh, our team who are here today. If you need anything, reach out to us. We're also actually looking at the moment for... Um, a research, researcher to join the team as well as a project manager. So if that might be you, get in contact. Um, we support privacy and zero knowledge research and our mission is really throughout all blockchain ecosystems to support those and champion them. Privacy is often a topic that isn't spoken about as much as it should be um, and is kind of under-emphasized sometimes uh, beside other things. And we want to really be the advocate, advocate for that um, to push it to the top of the agenda we do that through participating in governance on different chains. Um, we also support emerging teams in all sorts of different ways from funding um, and also connecting them with researchers, other people who may be able to help them to, um, to launch sooner. Um, and we also launch all sorts of initiatives to help, and pr help promote and fund uh, ZK Tech. So a few of those initiatives. So yeah, this year, actually starting last year, we did an event called ZK Hack. That was a seven week on the first time and three week on the second time workshop series with puzzle hacking. This was a great way to bring new people into the ZK space. We also have just recently completed, but not yet published, the Open Legal Working Group first report. So we basically surveyed a lot of ZK teams to find out what are the legal pain points, what are maybe opportunities. Uh, you'll be seeing about that, you'll be seeing more about that soon. And we just recently wrapped up the second ZK Tech Gitcoin side round where we actually got a chance to get funding directly into the hands of the people building ZK, especially early stage projects. So aside from that, we also run validators on Cosmos, Osmosis, and very temporarily Ev Evmos, to, um, hopefully um, watch this space. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're also uh, running a Cosmos newsletter that's been going now for uh, just over two months, but really growing very fast. Definitely recommend um, checking that out to stay up to date with what's going on. Um, and we produce some other educational um, research, uh, which you can find on our blog, uh, and also several other reports. And that newsletter is Cosmos News by ZKV.substack. If I know that's pretty intense, but it's a, it's a good one, so you might want to check it out. So um, in terms of this event, the reason why we really initially um, wanted to do this a year ago uh, is that privacy really is the next frontier for Web3, for adoption. Um, it's something that's needed given especially uh, recent events in terms of protecting people's privacy on-chain and off-chain, um, but that isn't getting the attention often that it deserves. And it was very clear uh, from what was going on in Cosmos a year ago that it was really on the verge of an explosion of activity, all sorts of people looking to launch um, privacy-focused chain zones um, and applications but these weren't yet getting the attention we thought they deserved. And we really wanted to start to highlight what was going on um, in a way that allowed people outside of the existing Cosmos ecosystem um, to really see what was going on. And so the idea was to bring together people working on this stuff 
inside Cosmos ecosystem, as well as people working on privacy and zero knowledge outside of it, um, together into kind of one series of events and start to see uh, what came out of it. And it's really clear kind of a year on um, that there's a lot more that's very visibly going on um, in the ecosystem. I think this event compared to the very first one, we can see how many um, teams are now building things and all the exciting stuff that's happened, which is just really amazing to see. And these are just, uh, these are some of the teams who are gonna be speaking today. Um, and when, whether you're watching here in person or on live stream, um, there's gonna be a whole series of amazing panels and talks um, about everything that's going on. So a little bit of housekeeping about the theater. So we're in the main stage right now. There's a side stage where you ha we're getting your coffee. Uh, there's also this networking room with tables. We have a lunch room, which, which is closed right now, but will be open, obviously, for lunch. And downstairs, we have kind of this chill-out, spacey thing going on, and there will be some bean bags, and you can go hang out there. I know a lot of people are maybe a little bit tired after the week of uh, real-world real world crypto, if you were there. So, uh, yeah, you can get a little rest. Also, I don't know if everyone is aware of this, but there's actually going to be a dinner later tonight, uh, right here. So you could, I think the event ends at 5, and the dinner starts at 7. You can actually hang out in between if you want, but you could also head home, come back, and we're going to attempt intergalactic karaoke. I have not done karaoke in a long time. I don't know about you, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Uh, this is a, something people maybe are curious about. This is the Wi-Fi. Uh, there is a sign just next to the bar in case you don't get this already set up, but yeah, guest at Tobacco, all small. So to kick us off today, um, our first talk is going to be from Billy talking about sovereign inter interoperable privacy right here. Um, we're then going to have Zaki talking about navigating the cosmos um, and then Federico talking about Evmos tokenomics. We're then going to have a break, and afterwards we'll have two stages going. There's also going to be um, one through in the other room next door, which is going to be it's a really nice area. Um, so uh, stay tuned for all of that. And um, with that, I think we're ready to kick off. Yeah. Let's invite Billy to the stage. Welcome, Billy. Billy. 